Good morning, my friends. I'm Clover, and this is Genuinely Approachable Sudoku, and today we are solving Old Friends by Philip Newman. This is a two-variant Sudoku. So we have normal Sudoku rules. That means we're placing the digits one through nine once each in each row, each column, and each outline through by through region. And then we also have some thermometers in the grid. And along each thermometer, the digits have to get bigger, starting from the round bulb and moving towards the tip. And there are also some black and white dots in the grid. Wherever there's a black dot, one of the digits has to be twice as big as the other one. And wherever there's a white dot, one of the digits has to be consecutive with the other, so one of them has to be one bigger or one smaller than the other. And those are the rules. So I'm going to start by observing that these thermometers are six long, and I've talked about this trick before. If you subtract that number from 10, it tells you how many digits you need to pencil mark into each cell in order to make sure you have the right number of degrees of freedom. So 10 minus 6 is 4. I have pencil marked four options into each cell. And this is very restricted because the only one of these digits that's twice the other is if we make them 4 and 8. And that actually fixes the entire rest of the thermometer, and sure enough, 1 and 2, 2 is twice as big as 1. So if you look at that, we can't put 1, 2, or 3 here. We obviously can't put them here, so they have to go here. And that makes these three digits 5, 6, and 7. These are also 4, 8, and 9. I have to put 1, 2, and 3 here, and the only ones that are twice as big as the other are 1 and 2. Those have to be 5, 6, and 7. Those are 4, 8, 9 again, and those are 5, 6, 7. This thermometer is length 7, so I'm going to pencil mark three options into each cell. And then the only pair here where one is twice as big as the other is 3, 6. And now that actually fixes the rest of this thermometer. So that'll go 7, 8, 9, and 1, 2 over here. So I know that 1 and 2 have to live down here. 8 and 9 have to live here. And also, if we look at row 5, I need to put an 8 and a 9 over here somewhere, so those must be the two biggest digits, and then the 1 and 2, those two have to be the two smallest digits on their thermometer. And then finally, I need to place a 5 and a 4 in the row. They can only go like that. Now I need two digits where one of them is twice as big as the other. I can't use 1, so it can't be 1 and 2, can't be 2 and 4, can't be 4 and 8 because I've used the 8, so it must be 3 and 6. So then these are going to be... 7 and 4. And over here I need two digits that are consecutive. And I can't use 1, 2, 4, 8, or 9. So it has to be either 5 and 6 or 6 and 7. And either way there's going to be a 6. There's a 6 there, so our 6 and the pair has to go here. And then these are from 3, 5, and 7. But because I already have a 3 over here, I know the 3 has to be in that position. And I'm also noticing that I have a 5 there. That makes this a 7. It makes this a 5. And my 1 and 2 here resolve this. And that can't be an 8, that can't be a 9, and that cannot be a 4. The 7 in this row that I just placed resolves this 4 and this 7 like that. That can no longer be a 5 or 7, so that's a 6, which fixes the 3, 6. That's not a 4 or a 9, so that makes that cell an 8. Now we know that these three digits are 1, 2, and 5. Clean that up a little bit. And these are 4, 8, and 9 in some heretofore unknown order. Now I'm going to work on my next long thermometer. I'm going to pencil mark this with four options in each cell. And this cell can only have one, two, three, or four, but I already have a one, three, and four in the column. So that's a two. And that means this can't be two, this can't be three, that can't be four, that can't be five, that can't be six. So what else can I eliminate? I have a seven in this column, so that's not going to be a seven, which means I can rule it six from here and five from here. This can't be a 7. This can't be a 6 because it sees a 6. And I think that's all that I can do. Right? Oh, I can make that a 5, which resolves this, and eliminate a 5 here. And that's all I can do with the long thermometer. But now if we look at the effect that had on the short thermometer, the only digits I have here are 6, 7, 8, and 9. This definitely can't be 8 or 9 because I need at least two digits that are bigger than it is. So that's got to be a 6 or 7. And now I have a 6-7 pair in the column, so that's an 8 or a 9. This is a 7 or an 8. It must be a 7 because it sees an 8. And that is going to resolve a lot in that column. Because this now has to be either an 8 or a 9, but it sees a 9, so it's an 8. That makes that a 9. And this is all resolved, and I think we're going to end up getting everything in the middle three columns. Yeah, because 4 is consecutive with 5. We can place that. Now, this has to be bigger than 5, so it's a 6. 
Now, in this column, we're going to need a 4, a 9, and a 5. So that must be a 9. It's a naked 9 because it sees a 4 and a 5. And then we have to place the 5 right here. Because we just placed that 9, we get an 8 and a 7 there. And to finish off the last two columns, we need 1, 2, 3, and 4. And they're going to go like that. Here we need 1, 3, and 9 to finish the row. That resolves this. Here we're going to need a 6, 7, and 8 to finish the row. We have a 6 and 7 in column 1 already. So that's now resolved, and that resolves the 5 and 7. And here we need a 2, 4, and 5, and they go in just like that. And that is how you solve Philip Newman's old friends. Hope you guys enjoyed that double variant Sudoku today. The link to solve it yourself is in the description of this video. And I will see you again in three days.